see trees of green, red roses too. Boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about global warming and its effects on biodiversity. Global warming is the average increase in the Earth's temperature. It started in 1950 and is expected to continue. It's caused by things like burning fossils, fuels, and deforestation. Deforestation is often cited as one of the major causes of the greenhouse gas effect. to survive. And if the krill shrimp die, then all the penguins will die! Not only that, but ice thinning lowers the amount of space for polar bears to hunt for seals to raise their young. Global warming may drive a quarter of land animals and plants to the edge of extinction by 2050! From 1906 to 2005, the temperature is believed to have risen by 0.74 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0.18 degrees Celsius. Before 1850, the temperature was mainly stable, with the exception of periods such as the medieval warm period or the Little Ice Age. Global warming also changes ecosystems, and animals that have adapted to their ecosystems have difficulty functioning. The demand for lumber has increased drastically over the past 10 years, cause, causing deforestation. The deforestation is caused by such demands is leaving many animals homeless. Earlier fishing gears only selectively captured fish, maintaining the predator cause diminish in the fish's population. <laughs> Since approximately 1950, around 20% of freshwater fish species have gone extinct, whereas 75% of the major marine fish stocks are overfished, putting them on their way to extinction. The rapid population growth is in direct relation to the rising demand for resources. Nearly half of the tropical rainforests and mangroves have been destroyed due to human demand, whether it be for lumber, land, etc.
agriculture is another aspect of human activity <laughs> affecting biodiversity. Urban development it all has also affected that. Biodiversity. <laughs> Biodiversity. Industrial materials are made directly from biological resources. resources. The urban development is taking away from the environment. For example, the rainforest is being cut down to provide rubber for building houses. Regular foresting ecosystems are being destroyed to provide room to build and expand cities. The loss of biodiversity and increasingly recognized as a significant risk factor is business development and a threat to the environment. In addition, the tragedy of the common, of the common ruins of the environment because people use and graze animals on land that is public, not lands that they own themselves. Invasive species also affect the biodiversity. Invasive species are plants or animals that travel by human interaction to other locations and use unnecessary resources that other species in the area need to survive. Many invasive species tend to have fast growth and rapid reproduction. In spends more than $138 billion every year to prevent and control invasive species. Almost all of them are spread by human actions. Water plants can latch onto a boat and travel with the boat to another habitat if the boat isn't washed properly. Exotic pets are also other ways of bringing animals into a different environment. Lastly, CFCs, CFCs and, and ozone depletion, depletion are the result of human actions. Coral fluorocarbons accelerate <laughs> depletion of the ozone. CFCs are catalysts that remove oxygen, atomic oxygen, and ozone. Polar ozone depletion was recognized in March 1985 but was discovered in 1984. The ozone layer in the In 2007, China surpassed U the USA as the largest CO2 producer in the world, about 90, 900 million. <laughs> about 900 million humans at, is no, in, in extreme, extreme poverty, poverty suffer from <laughs> the disrupting <laughs> biodiversity that, that we are causing. <laughs>